I will take care of you when I am darn good and ready. <laughs> I know it isn't. It's just been a while. I've hacked the game to be Ultra Hall. <laughs> I know, right? You know what? Gibbot, or however I'm supposed to pronounce your name, I, I got one little thing to tell say to you. Well, hello, Mr. Fancy Pants. Tell you something, you ain't running two things with Jack and shit. Jack left town. I get that orchard later. I get those books. Better believe I'm gonna get all the coins. You have any idea how badly I'm playing? Well, this is fair. I could like dive faster than that thing can shoot me. Do you have a coin? I, I do have a horseshoe. I want to risk it. Ooh! Look at that! Not needing the barrel. Oh, what? 
so dang happy about. So, I don't know if Robot here has seen, um, got the Fancy Pants reference. Was, uh, Bruce Campbell versus the Army of Darkness. Really, really, really good film. If you have not seen that, I would highly suggest watching it. I mean, of course, you gotta watch Evil Dead. Well, okay, so here's how this goes. Yes, there's the Evil Dead TV show. Yes, you should totally watch that show. Um, but you've got Evil Dead, and you've got Evil Dead 2, which is a remake of the same director of Evil Dead 1. And then Bruce Campbell versus the Army of Darkness is the sequel to Evil Dead 2, which is a remake of Evil Dead 1. So when really, Evil Dead 3 is actually Evil Dead 1. I mean, Evil Dead 2. Then there's the remake, with, I mean, the new one, which is not necessarily a remake. It's, um... It's interesting how it falls in, but it's really, really, really good. And should absolutely be watched. Um, but in, uh, the third film, in Bruce Campbell vs. the Army of Darkness, uh, Bruce Campbell plays Ash, and Ash at this point has been sent back in time, and he's captured by these knights, who also have, um, a, uh, a duke, right? And so the guy goes to introduce himself to Bruce Campbell, and he's just like, I am the Duke of this, the, you know, brother of that, son of this. And he starts laying all down all of his uh, titles while he is in chains and facing an execution. <laughs> so, um, Bruce Campbell, or Ash, looks at him and goes, listen, man, I got news for you. You ain't in charge but two things. Jack and shit. Jack left town. So, hey, but uh, the legend goes, ooh. The legend kind of goes like this. Uh, Sam Raimi, uh, he did the, uh, uh, some of the Spider-Man movies, he's done a bunch of films, he's one of my favorites. Sam Raimi was doing one of his first films, and he had Evil Dead, Bruce Campbell's a buddy of his, and um, it was supposed to be a legit horror film. Um... But the way it went was um, he kind of was like, he meant to make a horror film, but it went kind of silly. And so he's like, what are they talking about? Like, everyone says it wasn't scary. They said it was funny, but yet they loved it. So I don't, I don't really know what's going on. So he watched the film and he goes, okay, I can kind of see what they're going for. And so instead what he does is he remakes it. And he embraces the camp. He pushes it to 11. Which is a different reference. This one goes to 11. Um, and so he gets that. There's a lot more of one-liners 
uh, Bruce Campbell, or Ash, I guess I should say. Um, it's actually quite funny to watch the movies in reverse and just watch Ash go from complete badass to, like, whiny Luke Skywalker. So, um, there was a remake. Not really like a remake, it was kind of like a sequel reboot type of thing. Um, uh, I see it as a sequel. But, um, a lot of people were upset because at the time we had terrible remakes being made of, um, like really, really bad films. Of, of remake of really good films like Dirty Dancing. Like, why would you remake that? Wait a minute. Oh, I'm five short. Crap. There they are. Or at least there's three of them. But it was like. Sam Raimi didn't produce it. But, uh, what he did do was, uh, he didn't direct it, but what he did do was help produce it. So, the e the new Evil Dead is the horror movie that they were initially trying to make. Ew, yeah, ew, the Red Dawn remake, ew. Why did you remind me of that? You're absolutely correct, but ew. Alright, so we, we are guilders, because when you get a bunch of ferrets together, it's called a business, but, um... Like, a ferret guild, because they're thieves, thief guild, makes more sense to me. Oh, cool! I forgot about that. Okay, let's do this. Anyways, um, I like holding them guilders. Y'all guilders. But, yeah, ew. You know what? I'm I'm gonna go Pulp Fiction here. Eh, it's not letting me. Vincent, we got it. Vincent, oh yeah, we got it. dive collection technique this move is an extension of the dive move you already know <laughs> it's nice to know that the lag isn't that bad and anymore the triangle button near breakable objects for some fast breaking fast collecting action cool All right. So I've got a question. This is for Olaf and for our friend, Robot. Uh, what other game...
Hey Guilders, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, be sure to catch me live on Twitch. The link is below. Please stay tuned for the next episode, or if you're looking for something a little different, you can follow the links to the episodes on the left and the right, or you can catch one of my guest streams. See you next time. He's about to get, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him! Yes! I could just sneeze on his health bar. Whoa! No, 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 bad, bad, bad. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Like that. Like, no, no, whoa! Okay, I've complained about not seeing the alien. That's a little bit too much alien.